don't do it yet. Can you take the picture already? Yes. Okay. Look what I just got with my Christmas money. Let me close the doors real quick. Ethan will hold the camera like he has been doing. Ethan, zoom it over here. Okay. I just got this. This looks like the Captain Rex's gun, right? It is. The Star Wars Clone Commander Blaster. Build your own blaster. Single shot mode. Get a whole new gun just by doing this. Just by adding the ammo clip. Has rapid fire and different sounds. That yeah, yeah, yeah. was really awesome. Show you how to make the second one, which is the standard, well, the Stormtrooper Blaster. This is the Stormtrooper Blaster in um, single shot mode. This is it in rapid fire mode. And it also comes with an extendable sock, which you can use for the standard clone trooper blaster. Sounds the same as the clone trooper blaster. I'm going to keep the clip in because it just sounds a whole lot cooler with it. Just by adding three parts, got a whole new gun. And then also, I have made the Special Forces gun. Really small. <laughs> also, for this, for the sound and light source, you have to put three AA batteries just right in the handle. Lights up. Really awesome. I'll give you another take of the lights. This is the rifle barrel standard. And then also you can use rapid fire. Sounds the same because you can fire again and again. I'm going to leave the rapid fire clip. And then also, if you see this, there's a thing on the front. Go like that. And then just twist them together. So they make a big barrel. Then you put them on here. And then this also doubles as a flip up sight. So you can make the heavy rifle, put the microscope on the bottom. And then if you listen carefully, if you hear an explosion sound, that's supposed to be the droid exploding. This is how many shots it takes without the scope, because the scope is supposedly makes it more accurate when you put the scope up there. shot to take with the scope on. Other one takes two. This one takes three. And to make it look like the real DC 15A heavy rifle, just you will need to do this. You start out with the you start out with the pistol. Then if you want it in rapid fire Insert the ammo clip, and after each and in rapid fire, I'll sh let me tell you this later. Okay, and then first, and then second. Well, actually, you'll need to. You can do this two ways. You can po combine these. You can you can combine these first, or you can. I like to do it this way. Just put this one on. Put this one on. Then this is. Then, if you the real one, um, flip up sight isn't this big, but I actually think it is pretty good this big. Put the flip up sight on top, and then there's a straight part. The straight part should be in front. And then, last but not least, or not last, least, but um, put the stock on, and then you can, if you, and then you put this sniper scope that comes with on the bottom. And then, in rapid fire mode, you have to do this. automatically stop and it'll fire and then after that explosion you have to reload the ammo clip because after you use the ammo clip it goes back into single shot mode and then with all 
Also, I will be teaching you how to make a sniper rifle out of it. And okay, start out with the tip with the pistol. Then you put the stock on the pistol like that. Then you will need. It's kind of. It looks this, about the same as the heavy rifle, except there's a couple different things. So then you put the r rifle barrel on, and put the blaster barrel on, and then you'll need to take the scope and lock it in. For the scope, the stock, and the ammo clip, there's a little kind of spring-loaded switch, and that just holds it in place. And then after you've got all that stuff done, just put, put, it's easier, it's really easy to put this on. You just gotta put it, you just gotta shove it in the bottom, and then lock it on here like that. And then there's two ways. If you have the right height, you can just go like that, and then go down and then follow it. You can have it like this when you're kneeling, or you can have it like that when you're sh when you're standing you should be kind of crouching and then I there's a couple extra spots that don't that the animal clip doesn't really work in this one the, okay so it'll work up where the stock goes I don't like to have it there it's supposed to go on the side but it can also go on the bottom right there but with the sniper rifle I kind of like to have it in single shot so you can either put it in this one which deactivates it I like to have it right there, and then it's and then it's in single sh shot mode. I'll show you it. Make sure it follows me down, okay? Sir? And then it goes in single shot mode. I'm pretty much saying that all in all, this is a really good gun. Um, I just got it yesterday. I'll show you all the components. Just let me take the gun apart. Uh, I'm sorry about the box. My mom threw it away. It is on my brother's bed. And I'll put the camera from my brother. The Clone Commander Blaster comes with everything you see here. For you. Comes with the pistol, the ammo clip, the, I'll give you the names, the sniper scope, the stock, blaster barrel, um, rifle barrel, extendable stock, and the names, the pistol is called the DC-17, um, rapid fire blaster, and actually, and then, if you can remember the, the stormtrooper blaster, it's called the E-11. Then the Stormtrooper Blaster, the Clone Trooper Blaster that has the extendable stock, it's called the DC-15 Clone Trooper Blaster. And then the very big one, the Heavy Rifle, is called the DC-15A Heavy Rifle. And the Sniper Rifle doesn't really have a name. Up by myself. I'm saying, all in all, it's a really good gun. It's my favorite Star Wars gun. It cost, at Target, $39.99. So, it's cheaper than a lot of things. Um, this is Brooksman10. Comment, rate, subscribe. And that's all. Actually, we'll show you another thing today. It, but if we can't we'll do it right now because we're going to go past 10 minutes. So, goodbye, YouTube. Again, comment, rate, and subscribe. This is Brooksman10.